All right, guys, so I think here comes uh, one of the more controversial parts of this game when we have to make uh, decisions as to what we want to do with players who uh, might not be performing at the level that they should. So I've been talking about this guy before, right, Jermaine Simone. Um, Sione, sorry. Uh, I mean, you know, he's a good player. Um, I think that um, he normally would be a leading player for us, but uh, he doesn't have the required ability or potential. And the reason why he doesn't is because we have so many better players who play as a striker, including some of the players that we have here in the under-18s, right? We want to open up some room for this guy, Panetta Twa, and I will um, eventually get around to uh, replacing these uh, pictures and giving them their heads and their faces. Twa is really the player that we want to bring up. We can't register him at the moment, but uh, Sione has had two really, really poor matches in a row here. And, um, I mean, I guess he did okay um, in this friendly. <laughs> um, but, no, I guess there's only the one match. He was really, really poor at the beginning there and didn't really try for much. We are going to release him. Goodbye, Sione. You are gone. The next one that I want to look at is the guy who's destroying our dynamics, which is Ivan Lay. Ivan Lay is on their left side. He's clearly, clearly the best um, left uh, wing back that we have on the team. Uh, but um, his upset feeling for no real reason is driving me nuts. He had a poor performance, didn't play the match before, and had uh, not a great performance there either. This is a real controversial decision, I know, but um, because of what he's doing to the dressing room, we're going to get rid of him. I've talked with uh, my captain a couple of times. I mean, you can ask him for advice, you know. Uh, you can't do this here. And, uh, you can't ask for amb uh, sometimes for ambassadorial duties. Maybe we can ask Fatu, um, maybe not. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a quick look here and see if it um, allows me. I guess I can ask Twala Lele, maybe. Yeah, ambassadorial duties, dressing room atmosphere, and I can see, is there an issue? The recent performance can be hiding a certain issue with players who are becoming unhappy. Right, and so uh, the reason why is uh, that individual player. I think that he's absolutely right. Now, there's no real way for me to uh, do much about this, right? I can discipline him for poor performance, and I think we'll do that first. We'll find you two weeks' wages. We can warn him and criticize his last game. You weren't good enough. And then the next thing that we're going to do, and this is where it's really controversial, we're just going to release him. So that does put us at a disadvantage because we don't have a lot of players who can play there on that uh, left wing back uh, role. But let's see if this helps us out in terms of uh, the uh, uh, way that the squad uh, uh, binds together as a team and in terms of squad morale. I agree. I think that we should be winning every one of these matches. And I think that these upset feelings about a uh, you know, team talk that happened after a friendly against our under-18s team in which we were absolutely hammered is a problem. So this is one of the problems that you come across too if you uh, try to um, bring a whole bunch of players on at once, which is exactly what we've done. Um, this is something that I kind of knew going into this, but um, you know, it's something to sort of keep in mind. And so now we look at this. Yeah, they're giving free transfers. Nobody seems upset at the moment. Team cohesion just like that is average. Club atmosphere is good. Managerial support is average, you know, and all of a sudden there are no issues within the team. So we'll um, take a look. In fact, let's go forward one more time and just see if um, anything comes of it uh, in the end or not. Sometimes you will get residual issues that will um, come up. People will be upset that the, you know, guy was let go in the end. Um, and uh, it is going to make things difficult because we really only have Milo Kaliopa and N.A. Lilo to play in the uh, back left, and neither of them are very good. <laughs> Um, so uh, we're going to have to figure something out. We may end up uh, checking around our uh, central defenders and seeing if we have anybody who um, is uh, good at playing at left back and just using him in that role and kind of hoping we can fake it for the rest of the season. Um, but uh, I think we have come to the, that point of a decision where um, we've decided that it is better to have worse player playing in the possession playing in the position than having a good player who's upset and who's poisoning the dressing room so i know that you see other uh, football manager content creators talking about this from time to time and there are people who are really really worried about making their players upset and who are like i want to do anything to stop him from being upset it's not really that big of a deal right early on in the season when it was still off camera um actually in the preseason uh we had a whole bunch of players who were upset because i signed them and said they'd be stars and then they came out here and it turns out that they weren't stars because we had a lot of other good players right Right? If you give that time, it'll solve itself. But some of these other issues just weren't solving themselves over time. There's not much else you can do. You know, I can find him, doesn't do anything. So uh, what we do is we just let go of him and uh, see what happens. We'll push continue one more time, see if we can get through with this day and uh, just make sure that we don't have anything sort of crazy going on. 
But that's just it. You have to decide for yourself, you know, do you want to put up with a whole bunch of crap from uh, players who, um, in some cases, who are really marginal, or do you want to just sort of truck on forward and uh, do the best with what you've got? So it's going to be interesting uh, looking forward here. As I said, we don't have a whole bunch of uh, strikers who are actually registered for the first team. And uh, we are going to have to wait a little while. We are still in August. It's not going to be until November that um, we uh, can uh, register some of these under-18 players. We do have the players who could play well for us on the squad, but they're on the other under-18 squad. And, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing uh, much indication that things are going poorly. Again, average team cohesion, good club atmosphere, average managerial support. That looks pretty good. We just give it a little bit more time and see what we can do this point in time of the season, this is the right point to make these changes because we have a whole bunch of sort of bottom of the uh, rung type teams we're playing against. At least they're normally near the bottom. I don't know. Things might be a little bit different this year. Pago Youth and Utile. I don't know what happened with Utile. They may have uh, pulled on a lot of these players that I uh, got rid of. And yeah, you can see all these guys. There are a number of guys who um, I got rid of, including Simone Johansson, who uh, really was disappointing for me. Um, this is, I think, yeah, another Swedish uh, Taiwanese player is the new gen. Um, and um, it's a little bit uh, unfortunate because he has a real poor personality, which is probably the reason why I decided not to go with him in the end. Um, but uh, I'm always on the lookout for players like that. Well, we'll see what happens, right? Um, once the transfer windows open up again, we're going to bring a whole bunch of players in, probably from uh, some random country I'll choose. We'll probably look at some of the um, Caribbean islands, maybe make it sort of an island thing or theme, or look at the, like Madagascar or something like that. Some place where there are a bunch of amateur players, and we'll try to bring them over, see who's willing to come over, and uh, see if we can't find any other good players to put on the squad. So that's the idea. We'll try to do it this way so it doesn't crash the game, see if we succeed or not. And there you have it. That's uh, what you do with players who are poisoning your dressing room. Talk to you later. Bye.